struggles to stop the violence. Almost every night this month, there's been a shooting or stabbing on the streets of Boston. And today, an emergency meeting was held to figure out how to stop it. Just last night, another shooting in Dorchester. A young man was killed and a 14-year-old was shot. That brings the total number of shootings or stabbings this month to 14. Tonight, people in the community and city officials say the violence needs to stop now. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Roxbury, where a peace walk will take place tonight. Christina? Well, the mayor and the Boston Police Commissioner plan to join community activists for this peace walk, and you can see some people have started to gather in front of the 12th Baptist Church here. This cluster of violence happened during a time when police had beefed up patrols for the July 4th weekend, so police say that is proof that putting men and women in uniform out here is not enough. A 15-year-old boy in adult court hiding behind a door facing a murder charge. Boston's second fatal stabbing in less than 24 hours. The defendant is seen making a stabbing motion towards the victim and he's the victim eventually is observed falling to the ground. Part of a string of violence so startling, the mayor called an emergency meeting with police, clergy, community leaders. After that Roxbury stabbing Thursday, a deadly shooting on Blue Hill Avenue. Wednesday, a 51-year-old stabbed to death and another man shot while sitting in a car. The week started out tough with three men shot at a cookout Sunday night. The 15-year-old stabbing the other kid and killing him, I think, is a gang issue. So it's a mixture. There might be some drugs. There might be some old feuds of kids getting out of jail. Police Commissioner William Evans addressing reporters after the mayor's meeting. The group vowing to boost opportunities for Boston teens, summer jobs, extended hours at rec centers, help for parents, and stopping the potential revenge in the coming hours. We're working hand in hand with not only the clergy, but our street workers and our violence interrupters. That's key to, to separate, have the dialogue, and see if we can have some type of mediation to stop this senseless violence. Are these next few hours critical? Absolutely. Our, our, our guys are out there now. And that is one reason why in about an hour, community leaders and activists will begin their walk for peace. Hoping to get the message out. In Roxbury, Christina Hager, WBZ News.